most of the things, the most popular things that, that you know, I, you know, say, say for instance, I got you, babe, when I wrote the music for that. Uh, what, what, what made me use the instrumentation that I did and would do that was because I knew what Sonny would want. You know, he, he sang it to me, and when he was going oom pa pa oom pa pa oom pa pa, it sounded like he was thinking about oom pa pa oom pa pa. You know, tuba and trombones and stuff like that, like a brass band does, but. I realized that that was a little harsh for the type of song it was, so I decided to use a bassoon and two oboes, which was at that time, you know, very different because no, 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 no arrangers were doing anything like that. But then I realized, just just a couple of days, I realized that I had a habit of doing, like the first hit record I had in New Orleans was a, was a r rhythm and blues thing. And I, when I had that record, most records were had, when they have a solo break, they would have a guitar or a tenor saxophone, Lee Allen, and some of them cats playing. So when I put this record, I wrote out a so solo that for the cornet player to play. So when, you know, when, so when the girl finished singing, that was a, uh, gonna be a cornet. So y'all early enough to know that. There was a song called by a girl named Barbara George, it was called I Know You Don't Love Me No More, No More. I can't sing it too good, <laughs> so you might not recognize it. But it was, it was a song, and that and was the first record, or the second record that we had released, and I had started a record label then. Now what motivated me to do that? That's not, not a question I'm not, but that, what, what, what caused me to do that is really was very significant in my life.